Hey everyone, welcome to How Inez Rolls. I am on my way out the door because I am needing to stock up on a couple of things from Costco and I'm so excited. So let's go. Plus with the holidays around the corner, I wanna show you what is out there at our local Costco and I just can't wait, I gotta go. Ooh, look at all these pretty Christmassy things to decorate. Look at that. That's a backside, but that thing's huge. That wreath. So pretty. Plus, they still had some Halloween stuff over there. Those are so pretty. They're very big, though. So for a front yard. This one's really cute. Little tree. But look at how big these Christmas trees are at the top. Hello, where would you put something like that? Hello, Mr. Snowman. That tall one was 12 feet tall, in case you were wondering. Look at all this. These are the big ones. All this rice, good, good stuff. And 25 pounds of flour. <laughs> Such a good price. But they also have organic flour. Hmm. Maybe this is what I should get. Still a good price. They carry bulk and like tons of fruits and vegetables. But with it being fall now, we're starting to see some. Probably less supply. It is so cold in these fridges. Ah, but they have good stuff in here too. All your Christmas candy needs. Look at those Toblerones, they're huge. Our Kobe loves these. Hmm, look at these awesome super soft blankets and they're only like 15 bucks. $16.99 for King. Love, love, love. Ooh, I am glad to be back. That line was so long. So sometimes you have to weigh the pros and cons with going to bulk stores. <sighs> and while I was there, Paul called me and gave me some sad news. I don't know if a lot of you follow Colin Karchner. He is kind of this pioneer with getting kids off social media and smartphones and and he passed away of a heart attack and I'm probably older than he is so man it makes you like really keep um, a grateful heart and my thoughts go out to his family for sure so it's time to shift I need to show you everything that I got from Costco I spent $150 and you can see right behind me, I got their bathroom tissue and their paper towels, which are my favorite. They are such big like pieces of half paper towels, which I love. And of course, I got some Grandma Sycamore to put that in the freezer. I love it. And now I'm gonna show you some more things that I got. So I decided to get a rotisserie chicken. Mostly because whenever I do a grocery haul, I am just not in the, <laughs> I'm not in the right mind to go ahead and start cooking. <laughs> so we'll do this and I'm, I might make this into a recipe. I haven't decided yet. Let me know down below if you get rotisserie chickens. This one from Costco is pretty big, you guys. This is like five bucks and it's like, I wanna say it's like three pounds. Yes, three pounds. It is so great. A while back on Sundays, I would make like charcuterie boards with, you know, this kind of chicken. So I would just kind of shred it apart, have some different kinds of fruits and different kinds of crackers and cheeses. And that was kind of our lunch after church. It was the best. Hmm, maybe I'll do it again for dinner. We'll see. Picked up some more eggs. I still have a little bit left from my last haul, but you know, all I have to do is make like a breakfast and I go through a lot. 
And then I picked up some of these yummy, yummy yogurts. Jonas and I were just talking about them this morning and we were saying how yummy they were, especially that lemon one. Oh, that's my favorite. And it tastes kind of like a lemon cheesecake. And these were on sale for like five something. So perfect. All right, next up I got cheeses. Now, recently I can get these two pound cheeses. Yes, two pounds much better priced on sales nearby. Hmm, like Vaughn's or Albertsons has some really good sales on cheese. These used to be like $2 cheaper. This was $5.99. Okay, so I think I used to get it for like $4.25 or $4-ish. And Monterey Jack, I love it. So many good recipes and mild. Now my favorite cheddar is actually medium. Not quite so sharp, but it has a good taste to it more than the mild but I'm sure we'll find some great recipes for that. And then I got the medium sliced cheddar. This one is sliced and it's so good. So this one was $10. You pay a little bit more for the sliced ones apparently, but that's okay. So we'll put these all in the fridge. That'll be good. I am also a huge fan of the Costco bacon. These ones actually a few years back used to be like there was like a bacon shortage or something because I remember it being like $18 for four of them. And today was 15, but I have seen it as low as 12. So you just never know, right? I picked up some of these. These are my favorite. I love having an English muffin, really preferably with a couple of eggs. I have been doing a slice of toast, but this is what I really want with my breakfast. So these would be actually perfect. I have the sausages from Walmart that are perfect size. Cook those up, put them in here. You can even add a slice of cheese, whatever. And you have an awesome breakfast muffin. And then I had to pick up, this was $10.99. Now you are paying for the convenience, it's four pounds, but they are already pre-cut. You don't have to thaw them out. You could cook them from frozen. And it says it cooks in about 10 minutes. So I figured it's about what I spend cooking on it as well. But if I'm adding like veggies or adding it to a soup, then I'm, you know, it'll be longer than 10 minutes. But if you're just wanting something quick and easy, chicken, veggies, little um, sweet and sour sauce over some rice, so good. And then you guys, like I showed you all of those Christmassy things. <gasps> Oh, these are back in stock. These are so good. I have to, I have to give it a little taste test. They have little bits of um, candy canes. Mm -mm. I should hide these before the boys get home. Mm. Sweet, salty, minty. Oh, delicious. Let me know below if you've ever had these before. They are so good. <laughs> okay, so we're near the end here. So these are, I have a few more items to show you. I picked up some more bougie tuna. You guys, this is my favorite. I have tried a few different ones. My second place would probably be Trader Joe's, um, the albacore tuna in water. This one is just so good. I put it, actually, I put one in the refrigerator um, so that way it'll get nice and cold. And then within the next cup, within the next days or so, then I will make it and it's already cold, ready to eat. So um, I really like them. This is also sustainable. They're line caught. I don't know if that makes a big difference, but I also like that there's not that much um, water in here so it doesn't take too much to get all the juices out and it's upside down so it's like having a, tr a tuna steak funny right um also each one of these when you buy them at the store can range somewhere between three dollars and sixty cents to four dollars and sixty cents for each one now it makes a couple maybe two and a half lunches for me and i'm the only one that eats them so Bougie I am. <laughs> you guys, this one is really, really a good, good tasting tuna if you're looking for to make your tuna sandwiches better. I also love at Costco their butter. You guys, I go through so much butter with cooking a lot of things my at home. It just That's just what we do. But this price, $7.99 for all of this butter. Only on sale can I get one of these for $2.50 at my local store. 
Um, I think it's a little bit cheaper at Walmart, but probably not much cheaper. So definitely I'm saving like at least $2 buying this many. And I couldn't go to Costco and not pick up another bag of our favorite tortillas. Now these are uncooked and these ones are organic. And so all I do is just get my skillet. I cook like two at a time, takes a few minutes, really it doesn't take much time. And then I let them cool and I put them in a Ziploc baggie, a gallon size, and then I keep them in the refrigerator and they're gone within a week or so because kids love quesadillas at my house. So that's what we eat a lot of. Actually, what they eat a lot of is quesadillas. And when I say they, it's really Ezra, like he eats too many, I think, <laughs> but he's still young. <laughs> and then the last thing that I got were these chicken soups, you guys. This is a gluten-free uh, chicken noodle soup. And I usually, I wanted to get it for Paul because sometimes I don't make like uh, a lot of dinner where it has a leftover. And so the next day he'll say like, what can I take for lunch? So he has this until the end of November. So I'm sure he will take them. And then nice little plastic containers, seems like they can be reused again. So you guys, let me know what I how I did with $150. I know these things back here are like $17 each. So I took a big chunk of my money. So, but I think I did pretty good considering. Um, I can't wait to get into that rotisserie chicken to make some yummy dinner. And I gotta cook up some tortillas right now. I just wanted to let you know how important you are to me, what a blessing it is to have you watching the channel. And uh, I am so grateful for you. So have a wonderful day, rollers. Stick around, because you just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye, everyone.